it's a taste test Will it pass the test? Is it the worst or the best? I'm the shit. I hunted these drakes down Far and wide Now I'm gonna swig them down Frank the tank style jump, jump. By the end of the video I will give you a clue Is it worth your money Or are you better off drinking out of a shoe? More flavor, more flavor Wow Not gonna be able to see this But this is uh pretty cool um that it's see-through it's the sprite winter spot winter sp spiced cranberry 12 ounce can it's the zero sugar version there's uh some uh specifics on it let's try to get it up forward So, uh, it's about all you can make out of the can. Top. It's a pretty nice, pretty nice design can. Let's see how it tastes. According to um, JJ, who is on his uh, Son of the Maniac uh, channel on YouTube, he claims that this is uh, close to being a, a uh, alcoholic beverage. So let me see. The observation of the scent would be that he is, uh, at least before I taste it, semi-correct because it kind of smells like a wine cooler, uh, like one of them wine coolers you get at a party. The one, um, so I'll see how it tastes. I'm going to tell, tell you right now, trust JJ, the pissed off movie assholes, opinion over at his um, Son of the Maniac YouTube channel. He was dead on. It not only has the alcohol smell like, a, like one of those wine coolers, but it actually tastes like alcohol. I don't know how they were able to get that fermented taste in here, but uh, it does taste like it. It's going to be an, uh, an acquired taste. I can see, see at least 50% of the people that try it will probably not like it. My background, I've spent 30 years divided between the flavoring uh, lab industry and the pharmaceutical industry. And uh, it would be my guess that they uh, changed up a few things here. I suspect there's uh, some off-label uh, trade secret ingredients in here. Um, sometimes... Uh, they put like a propylene glycol, which in some doses can mimic alcohol. Um, it's also uh, uh, known as a laxative. So um, also um, sometimes they put like ethyl acetates and stuff, but usually they won't do that on a product that... Uh, is going to go in a plastic because it will uh, deteriorate if it sits on the shelf over time and eat through the plastic. So um, it would be my guess there's, is that there's some propylene glycol in this and they um, 
they dialed back the percentage of carbonated water that they put in it. And that's where the um, alcohol type taste got driven up. Um, am I glad I bought three 12 packs of this? Yeah, yes and no. I think it's going to take me a while to get used to this. Uh, but then again, I don't have anything here to drink but Crystal Light for the time. So I'll make use of those uh, 36 cans. So um, at least I got them for less than $4 a 12 pack. So I would um, say definitely this is a product you should try, but I wouldn't go like I did and invest in 12 cans or more. Start with a two liter or a uh, 16.9 or 20 ounce, uh, because like I said, it's a very acquired taste and probably over 50% of the people would regret purchasing this, this, but I give it a slight thumbs up, a six, a six out of 10. So check out JJ's channel if you can. And um, there's, what is that? Uh, I just noticed that. Um, so yeah, check out his channel and um, like and subscribe to his content as well as this channel if you want to see more. So thank you. Vex paper up! It's for jacking off, isn't it? I'm lucky. I got a lucky bit. You ransom eating hockey motherfucker! We could really lay some money on the beach <laughs> <laughs> for guys who like big tests.